here for a badass movie I mean, that I'm excited for. It's called A Clear Shot. Oh. Uh, prop master. Marcus Construction, Art Department. Hey, my name is Deng Tran and I'm an actor. I feel like I'm about to rock the storm, man, you know what I'm saying? This is going to be bathroom areas back here. You can see they're going to build bathrooms here. It's going to be a car, stereo, audio, car audio area right here. It's going to be the interior of the leisure guys. That's how you build a set. Good, good. Day two. Hey, hey, day two. You ready? <laughs> Oh, the set looks great. It looks a million times better. Before it kind of looked like an empty warehouse. I was hoping to take home a few appliances. I'm excited to to get to work. Kim Dewey. What do you do? I'm a costume designer. A lot of them just wanted to keep their socks or their um, shoes on them. So. I'm Mandela Van Peebles and I play Sean. Um, let's check out the car stereo section. Mm -hmm. I feel very pampered. I don't know. Can you tell? My name is Lance Woods. I'm a comedian and actor. And um, we own the. Um, this is a, a clear shot. Day two in can. Day two in a can. It's beautiful out here. Beautiful. Perfect day today to shoot. Amazing. Good job. Good job, guys. Action. What's up, Tony? How are your first scenes going? Good. It was a great, great shoot. First scene right off the rip, straight from the get-go. Amazing, fantastic. Uh, I wish you could do it again. I'm so excited, but we have more to do. We have more to cover. We have something special coming your way. <sighs> my name is Raphael Siegel in real life. In the movie, my name is Devlin, uh, or Don Devlin, I guess is my full name. And I am the SWAT Team Sergeant. I'm in charge of the entire SWAT team. Hi, my name is Tony Du, and I play the character Long in this film. Good guess. See my hair? I lost it. I had a full head of hair before the scene started. Somehow he's... <laughs> it's good. Good. My name is Jess Meza, and I'm an actor. We're starting to get into the icing. We ain't got to the uh, filling of the cake yet, but we just, we just blew out the candles. Right now we have a stunt, and uh, we're a stunt coordinator short tonight. And so what we decided to do was use couch cushions as our uh, stunt pads. So the actresses are gonna do their own stunts. They're gonna fall on the pads, and then we're gonna move on. And what if they break a leg? <laughs> then we have an ambulance in a hospital nearby. Hi, I'm Sandra Gutierrez, and I play Wilma in the movie at Clear Shop. Go! Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Stop! Stop! We're back at the studio on the lot right now, so we have to wait for a police escort now to shoot the next scene. Yes. So we are back on the lot, waiting for the cops to come. Police, yeah! This will be my first, my first feature film. I've, I've done shorts, but I've never done a full-length feature, and this will be my first non-comedic role. Um, so, you know, Nick Leisure took a chance on me and gave me an opportunity um, to be a part of this. So I'm grateful to Nick Leisure. Um, 
And just as a person, Nick just cool as hell. Nick just chill, man. Nick, me and Nick got kind of like the same um, energy sometimes about a lot of like just real nonchalant about a lot of stuff. It's like, you know, I'm not gonna I'm not let nothing stress me out. Everything gonna be all right. It's all good. So, we making a movie? Oh shit! Yeah, I love Nick. Man. No seafood. Where's all the food at? Uh, we got some. We got, we some, got some food, food, food for you, right there. Hi, vlog. It's Vian back again. Um, on set. Killing again. So you're looking at him like, oh shit, he's stealing. Mm -hmm. We're on day three. Day four, but day three is shooting. The director Nick Leisure has been um, awesome. He's patient. He's a visionary. He knows what he wants. Um, great energy. When I walk up in here, everything needs to be fucking ready. Like. All my set, my set needs to be fucking ready. You guys need to do your shit. You need to put your shit together. I don't need to be walking in here and not having shit together. I don't talk like that. <laughs> he great. He just has provided a great environment for us to be able to dive in and play and uh, bring these characters to life. And I think it's it's been a blessing. Uh, I feel like we're gonna be working together for a long time, um, but he's a beautiful person as well, so. I'm glad to be here. Outtake, baby. Outtakes. Action! Oh, look at this. Verify Echo Alpha Take One. Okay. We're perusing. We're shopping, you know what I'm saying? Because she got a new job, so. She won't get Netflix. Hmm, Nick. I'm just kidding. I love Nick. He's a great guy, great energy. Um, and just, um, you know, cool to be around, so enjoy his company. Go away. So I dropped out of pre-med school to become an actor. Yeah. So, so be a dropout. My mom it was an RN from a house servant maid cleaning other people's houses. She became an RN and then she wanted me to school to be, go to school to become a doctor. And I tried that and like, I guess, Third semester into pre-med school, I stopped and went into acting school. That's how I became an actor. Story told, and it's a true story. Looks like that, except for now we got that thing in. Okay, entonces muere esta para allá. Guys, make a hold, please. I'm playing one of the hostages, and um, oh, nice. I get to kick you in the knee. <laughs> you didn't read the new script. It's okay because I get to kick back, you know what I'm saying? She's pregnant. MMA style. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm pregnant and I'm just going through a lot of shit and just trying to survive, you know what I'm saying? I'm a survivor and, you know, I'm trying to get myself and the others out. So. We are playing. Glenn Plum. There he is. How's life? Pretty good. Yeah. What about you? I'm good, man. Yeah? yeah. How's the set looking? The set looks great. I've already done my first, I ran my first errand. Alex needed peanut butter and bread and water, and I went and got it for her. First and last time I'm doing that. Production so far is amazing. I love the whole cast and crew. I love everyone that's working on this project. Everyone's been on their A game, and everything's moving along quite well. Vice narcotics, but this is not what your CIs are running. Because I'm not. If I don't make that remark, then it's just still, still all plays, right? Yeah. So I was thinking. I mean, you can play with your arms as well, but also you can switch bombs and use them. Yeah. More aims. Yeah, yeah. He said. He says that. Now this one or this one that much to that. Production so far has been great. You know, I, I I I like I like the production because it hasn't been um, just smooth sailing. So we've had to go against some adversity with with weather and, and um, just um, things that go on in a movie production. Man, everything not being perfect. You know, we up we up against time and and Christmas and finances and everybody's different schedule so I, I like it me personally i enjoy organized chaos i enjoy when things are not going perfect to have to make adjustments
friends and for everybody to have to come together and okay how can we make this work how can we put this together everybody and I think and I think it brings the crew closer together and I also think it makes for a better story in the end <laughs> all right make it happen Um, this production has been a lot of fun. We've uh, had our lows and ups, and um, it's just how it is in a low-budget production. But it's it's awesome, you know. The whole crew and uh, the actors are are uh, we have great chemistry together, and we're all giving it our best. And so we did this. I'm my way. That's how it's gonna be, and we all just hope that um, the whole movie is gonna turn out as great as it's supposed to be. I kill you! Yeah, no, I, to I totally checked it. You know, but I... The production has been awesome, been amazing. See, what I believe in is that it's, it's all about energy. It's all about the people that are brought in to collaborate. And everyone has been amazing. Great energy, great cast, great crew. Everyone's working towards the same vision, and that doesn't always happen. And so to have that, um, you know, collective energy working toward, you know, this this uh, this film has been a blessing. Pray that shit. We got candy glass. This one's like right here. Ordered the wrong size. Candy I didn't order the wrong size. I ordered Somebody the right part. size. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just blame it on me, but we'll just take that. We'll take that because everybody so, else is trying to blame it. <laughs> We're gonna blow up the real glass that's there. Uh, you know what? Shooting abroad is interesting. Obviously, there are more flavors that you encounter, not just food-wise, but in sounds and sights and stuff like that. But um, it does make it tougher because you have to travel and you have to travel great distances and you have to worry about getting back into the States for some people. So uh, I think the excitement of shooting abroad is is interesting and fun and adds another energy to it but it doesn't make it easier so i like both That's so many homes and apartments right here on this block. What does it mean to me to be an actor? It means you a goddamn liar is what being an actor is. <laughs> now being an actor is just, you know, trying to... Um, Actually, I can't. We might give away our position. I guess create moments that, that feel real to the people that's watching it. So, and I, and I think um, to do that, it has to be real to you in that moment. So, you know, everybody has their different things about how they go about it, but my creative nature, um, I use my imagination a lot. So, um, when you're able to use your imagination, you can create anything to yourself. So I try to create, use that same imagination the way I can create things to myself and create it to the world and portray it on screen. So. That, I mean, that's just my, my thing of being an actor is just to try to make the people watching it um, feel what you, feel exactly what you want them to feel. Come in, we kill everyone! Okay, let's roll sound. Do you want to do that or not? Yeah, we'll take that deal. What does it mean to be an actor and what does it mean 
for me. To me, to be an actor is to have an opportunity to face yourself, to look in the mirror. In this world and in society, we're not taught to look in the mirror. And for me, that's like the ultimate thing that we can do to grow, to transcend, to continue to move forward when it comes to our evolution and ultimately to like get to know self so we can we can uh, make this world a better place collectively. In saying so, as an actor, it challenges me to face myself all the time, especially when I'm going through the process of building a new character and bringing a new character to life, especially one that was real. Doing the due diligence and, and just uh, just to do everything that I have to do, all the work that it takes to be able to bring truth to, to the character that I'm portraying. Tom Cody said that he could get all the picture vehicles and stuff. There's, there's some um, things to overcome. There's language barriers, but you can overcome them. All you need to learn how to say is the basics. Como estas? Muy bien? Buenos dias? Buenos nachos? Bring some nachos. It's all the same. No, I don't know. Some days you might be expected to work eight, eight, eight hours and you might be working 12. So now we go one, two, three, boom, Being an actress <clears throat> to me means that I have not only the freedom to say what I want to say, you know, everybody has something to say in this world. I feel like we say it in different ways. Not only to say the free, to, the freedom to say what I what I feel and what I have to say about things, about situations, people, places, whatever. But I also have the responsibility of telling this sort of stories, um, kind of like in this project that we're doing and based on true events. Um, I just feel very honored to be able to do that. Um, it's something that I'm very passionate about, and you know. It's, it's not it's not a profession it's um, a vocation you know you just you just love it and it's not work so you start off the movie on the first day and you go you know what everybody's happy let's have a great time oh let's shoot this movie you get to like 18 days in well we haven't been 18 days. Uh, you get 12 days. 12 days in you're like fucking get my damn coffee get my shit hurry up hurry the fuck up Boom in the shot! Bitch! Said, we've been here Fuck for out. about 10 hours and we've only got six, like nine more hours to go today. So it's gonna be like a 19 hour day. Um, being an actor or being in the arts is a very satisfying, fulfilling thing in life to me. I believe that you you learn a lot about yourself and a lot about yourself from other people. No smoke. So there can't be any smoke while you're standing there talking. Yeah, so we were just having a really good time, you know, but it's definitely an amazing first chapter of my career as an actor. You better behave because I got a big palito. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a great film. It's heartwarming. It's based on a true story. There's sadness to it. There's a little bit of comedy. There's some action to it. There's thrilling scenes, a bit horrifying scenes in there as well. But overall, it's a great picture. <laughs> Stay tuned. Clear shot. Nick Leisure. Uh -huh. Come on, Luis. Así, tu puesto. 
Guys, quiet! And action! Yes. So yes, come to Mexico. You, you, it's worth it, and you know, uh, you know, price-wise as well. Like you can get some really, really good deals. You know, when it comes to location, hiring, and everything that it, that it takes to be able to to make a movie. That's it, man. Lance Woods, cute. Can't wait, man. <laughs> <laughs>